Now, Nadia, you recently posted uh, a video on your social media uh, account and it got a big response from not just the public but your friends as well. Tell us what happened. Well, yeah, so, so we are a family of moustache. We're moustached women. Yes. I had my moustache at nine years old. Are you in yeah. the circus? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm half Arabic. I have dark hair and I used to hate my moustache. Hated it, hated it, hated it so much. You haven't and my mum wouldn't let me do anything with it for some reason. I don't know why. What, like wax it? So then I shaved it. So thank God I only shaved it once, because otherwise I would be, still be shaving today and it could have been, you know. So then when my girls, who also have dark hair, got mm. their upper lip hair, yeah. first my eldest daughter wanted hers waxed. I said, sure, no problem. What, what, what age am I waiting for? Yeah. And then Kiki came up here, oh, can you do mine? It's when the sunlight comes in, you can really see it. But, well, of course, why, why not? We don't, unfortunately, live in a world, and that's very wrong, where it's OK for women to be hairy, God knows why, but we don't. Yeah. And Can I tell us how old Kiki is? Kiki's 11. So um, we did it, and we often did it. It's really funny, because we always do it on the kitchen table. I end up pouring the wax everywhere. We ha have a huge hoot. They're screaming, and it's quite a fun thing to do. <laughs> Hilarious. So, so I just <laughs> posted screaming. it on, on social media. But, yeah, but a couple of my friends texted <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, she's screaming! <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> She's screaming, but she hasn't got she's a moustache. She's laughing. She's laughing. And she's happy. And then, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, a couple oh. of my friends, actually, I've known for a long time. Yeah. Got a bit of a shock. And I got a text like, Nadia, I've said, how could you have done what you've done? I didn't know what they were talking about. And then it was like, you know, she's only 11, you've dragged her into this. Mm. And I literally didn't know what they she meant. She asked you to do it. Well, I mean, yeah, because there's no way I would ever say to no. my daughter, oh, look, you've got a little bit of something there, let's get that removed. No way. But, you know, as soon as they, yeah. they feel uncomfortable... A friend of Maddie's, this really hot summer, she wanted to shave her legs and her mum wouldn't let her. She spent the entire summer in black tights. Mm. Now, I mean, what, where is the sense in that? Yeah. No. But where does that come from? I mean, when you, the way you talk about, <coughs> oh, we've all got moustaches, you haven't actually, you've just got a bit of lip... Hair on the, well, on the top. Uh, that's it. But that's natural, though. But and it's, all distinction. women have that. Because you're fair, you would go, oh, it's just up but lip not hair. Fair, but when look. you've got a big, bushy, brown <laughs> mustache, <laughs> you do <laughs> not you've got a mustache. You, you are exaggerating, though. It's <laughs> not bushy. What, what baffles me, what baffles me is how an 11 year old. She was called can... Magnum PI at school. <laughs> 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 I'm sure it's very distressing if it really is. You know, really dark and like, <laughs> <laughs> but I know it's not. It's it not was, like that. It was really dark. You're lying. Well, let's not argue over whether it was, well, it was darker or it was fairer. But fair, what is it about kind of an eleven-year-old that is so aware of her facial appearance that she is so already self-conscious well, about because, having because a bit of upper lip hair? I mean. The... I just this is what this is what terrorizes me. It, it worries me a lot. Yeah, but but the thing is, and I'm I... 50, whatever it is, because I can never remember. But when I was a child, <laughs> this isn't about social media. This isn't about anything. Mm. This is about you're at that age, you're hormonal. You spend a lot of time looking in the mirror. It's just everything's changing. nature. It's just human yeah. nature. I remember and my mother. But we arm didn't hair do that though. We you, didn't. You did did we blonde. We did. But... No, it's nothing to do with that. <laughs> I like, they're like chimps' legs. I'm not joking. They're really hairy. <laughs> they're not now because I've spent years whipping them out with one of those machines and they don't grow anymore. But I swear to God, I did not notice that I even had hair on my leg until I was about 18 legs. or 19. This is harder to cover Nobody up if you're self Nobody didn't bother me in the slightest. But when the sun shines, and I used to go like this as a child because somebody's going to see my moustache, is it really... What are we... What are we saying no for? Why would we say no, you can't? I well, think you've got a monobrow and every day somebody's laughing because at Because you're already what? altering the appearance of an 11 year old when basically she should be able to. So, live what with age how would it be all right? That. Well, you know, later, later, later. No. When she is looking in the mirror, I think when it's she's for the sake of Satanist. When she's trying to get boys or whatever, not at 11. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, but that's, but that's, that's when you do But again, Carol, that sends out a whole different <laughs> message because you're saying you don't do it for yourself, you do it later when you're older no, to get boys. Just that's not what you've just said. No, I'm saying that's when you, should, you would normally oh. start to notice it when you're trying to attract... I like that she's noticing it for herself and it's of... got nothing to do with boys. Sorry, our producer's going, no more. No, no more. more. No more.